Well, hi there. I've got a very, very simple little fight video to do here. I've got my redback spider down there. That's the one I had, which was caught up around the toy tubs. Maybe I'll flash to some footage of where this one was found. There's a bit of a titanic catch, lovely female redback spider. And what I'm going to do with her in there is I'm going to put her against the ant nest, which I know is underneath this tub here. Where I've seen this in another video, and I've made up like a little battle arena here which has got Vaseline on the edge here, so the spider cannot escape. When I say Vaseline, that's what I'm talking about, petroleum jelly Vaseline. What I was a little bit curious is the redback spider did need that woody there, and maybe the woody can be thrown down to the ants as well. Warning, this video contains graphic images of a deadly spider that can kill anything in sight, and some crazy maniac killer ants that stop at nothing. Well, let me get this set up. I've got to move a few things very carefully, and of course, I've got to move this tub sideways to reveal the ant nest. This is that tub where I noted the ants were moving eggs up into it, and we had so much rain, uh, just massive amounts of rain. And underneath here, hopefully, is still uh, the ant nest. Mind you, it looks a lot wetter now. Oh, there's the ant nest down there. This is very much a Leo Kim video by request sort of thing. Many people ask to see Redback Spider versus uh, Angry Angry Ants. Okay, I've got the battle arena set in place, and now I've got to do is just arouse the ants. How do you do that? Do you give it a tap, or is that how you get earthworms up? Now for the very scientific bit, I'm going to add the Woody and uh, Mrs. Redback in here. Should give Mrs. Redback a name, shouldn't I? If she can come out, come on. Come and play. My Woody's out, and the Redback is playing hard to get. She's actually set up a very small home down there. I might have to tweeze her out. I'm outside and the sun's popping in and out, so it's going to be quite a tricky video to keep looking nice. And I'll just grab Mrs. Red back by her front leg and just carefully bring her out and land her in the dirt. Okay, take the jar away and she's roaming the ant nest. Now I wonder if she sort of understands uh, what's going on here. Hmm, she'd be scouting around. I think they always laying web as they're scouting about. And hopefully my Vaseline method here will stop her from escaping the battle zone. She likes to come over to the darker side here, that's understandable because these spiders uh, like to live in fairly recluse areas and she's having no luck trying to climb out, which is good news for me. Not much is happening at the moment, I uh, don't know if the ants uh, really know what to do. She's just um, trying the edges all the time uh, with no success. Some of the ant movements seem to be a little bit more frantic, so uh, I don't know if the message is out. Uh, they're aware that things have changed, I'm sure they are. I'm pretty sure ants are pretty smart at what's going on in the neighbourhood. I can see the ants are actually uh, caught up with something there they've caught. Uh, yeah, when they get into a feeding frenzy, they start to move real fast. And whether or not they've got respect for things like redback spiders, well, that's what I want to find out here. She's been in there for about five minutes, I tell you what, she's laid down lots and lots of web, that's what she's been very active about. And in a funny way, if she's doing that, if ants get caught in the web, well, she's going to come in for a little bit of a bite and a suck, because that's the way she works. Having a bit of uh, quiet time there, pondering the situation, uh, doing something with web, and the ants are still scattering around uh, very, very fast. There's a nice shot of her red back, you can see web around her as well. Hmm, I don't know what she's doing now. She's sort of settling down, I'm, and I really don't know why these spiders have a red back. It might be a bit of a natural mystery, although none of my audience members may know why. Now, I've had this thought, what happens if she goes down the ant hole there? <laughs> and then what have, what have I got to show? Well, she's doing some weird stuff there for front bits, whatever they're called. Now, the amount of web she set up in there is miraculous in very short time. Yeah, so there's a ton of web set up. Uh, I can't see a flurry of ants yet, but what has worried me is I, that woody. I don't know where the woody has got to unless it's gone down the ant hole. I don't think it could have crawled out. She's been doing her best to escape. Boy, she'd have some greasy legs by now. Yeah, so I don't understand the relationship between uh, these sorts of spiders and ants. I know those ants, when they get into um, frantic mode and wanting to take stuff out, uh, they can become very scary. Uh, who knows, oh yeah, who knows, she might be getting little nips and stuff from the ants. I really don't know exactly how ants operate with these spiders. There's times when she just sort of has pauses in the dirt, has a bit of a rethink and moves on. About 10 minutes in, the ant activity has started to pick up, uh, probably getting a bit confused about what's going on. 
I think Mrs. Redback's starting to understand uh, she's not in a place where she really wants to be. I'm starting to see ants come in now, and they're having goes at her. I'm surprised she hasn't gone down that hole there. Ah, uh, the woody's just reappeared. It must have buried itself in the ground there. That was a smart move. It's in trouble as well. And the ant activity is really starting to intensify. Yes, the redback is in trouble here. You can see it uh, reacting to ant bites. Wow, uh, when ants get angry, watch out. Uh, they can be really, really menacing. I might take the woody out of the equation because it may uh, take away the energy of the ants from the redback spider. Now I think ants really just operate uh, by number. Uh, it's just the masses of them when they get angry ants, they just come in and they can cause havoc. And I really think Mrs. Redback there is showing some signs of uh, grief. Yeah, she does these times and she's just standing there. She's got legs in the air and the ants are getting very, very wary and they know she's around. There's so much web in there. I don't know how much of it can be seen on camera. She's laid down so much web in all the movements around there. Look at that. She's got her front legs up and I dare say she just doesn't know what to do. She sort of knows she's in trouble. She's with a whole bunch of ants. What she has set up there is actually like a little mini web area because there's a little twig there and she's like set up a catch zone but she probably doesn't realise that uh, she's outnumbered here. The ants when they come up to her are definitely causing her uncomfort. I can see her react uh, when the ants get near the legs. Yeah, but uh, I haven't seen a mass attack yet like I was expecting. I thought the ants would have moved faster than this. We're 20 minutes into this. I'm not sure whether you can see that, but there's some sort of fluid or something going on at the front of her there. I don't know whether that's venom or whether the ants have had some sort of effect on her. Wow, I've never seen that before. I hope we saw that on camera. I hope we could see it. It's uh, very visible to me by looking at the spider. Never seen that before. Wow, that's just weird. I keep seeing flare-ups of uh, some fluid at the front of her. Uh, someone's going to know what that is. I don't know whether that's a reaction to the, to the ants or her like in venom mode. Whatever it is, it's very visible and it's very scary looking. Just trying to get the moments when there's a flare-up of fluid. It's very unusual. Oh, she's traversing across the uh, battle zone here. Mm. Laying web as she goes, as she's always done. I don't know, she seems to be a little bit weakened, if you ask me. She stopped on a twig there, it's right in the middle of the arena here. And uh, she's often done these little respites, and uh, I don't know whether it gives her a breather from the ants, which seem to annoy her a lot when they come up near her there just then. You see a twig when there's a bit of a reaction to an ant. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's as if she's almost caught up on her own web. I, it's very strange. I've never seen that before from one of these spiders. Oh no, she's free. That was a weird little moment from her. And she's just on that rock there with her front legs in the air. When she's like that, it's actually a very menacing sort of stance, isn't it? It's like a, an attack stance. She's hovering above the ant hole there, which I thought would be a bit of a silly place to be hanging around. But one thing about the ants is they're not exactly getting caught in all the web that she's laid down. And uh, they're not really coming out en masse uh, like I thought they would. And Mrs. Redback just sort of keeps scouting around. In a strange way, she's sort of got the power play at the moment. That is until an ant comes up and gives her a little bit of a nip. She doesn't like it at all. And again, she's got that stance, the front legs in the air, uh, like on the attack, very menacing, and just sort of sits there. I dare say maybe, so she's not being uh, bitten by ants. And again, there is that throffing, something fluid at the front of her. We can see that very clearly now. Wow, that is a mystery to me, uh, what's going on there. Ooh, she's getting uh, very agitated there. Uh, the ants are getting into a bit of a frenzy. Yeah, ooh, okay. Oh yeah, she's um, really stirring up the ant nest now. Starting to see activity like I have not seen before here. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. When ants get crazy, this is what happens. Look at them now, they're really agitated. Uh, Mrs. Redback is also very agitated. She's moving very widely. 
She's got that weird fluid coming out of her at the front there. Very strange. I can only assume it's venom, maybe. And I would say by the activity of the ants here, um, they've got the power play at the moment. Wow. Uh, I've never ever seen anything like this before. Uh, those ants are really, really freaking out. And well, so is Mr. Spider. Wow, well, it's scary, aren't they? And when ants work in numbers like that, you just never know what's going to happen. Ooh, wow. Like you almost put a biff biff um, punch punch in this, can't you? Oh, is she going to go down the ant hole there? I thought she would have reclused down to the ant hole, but she hasn't. And I would say the word is definitely out. There's a, a meal to be had here. I'm not exactly sure uh, how the ants will pull us off. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Very strange, isn't it, to see uh, the red back in so much trouble. That's something I've rarely ever seen. They are such formidable uh, killers, these spiders. They kill basically anything, but when ants are en masse, they get into a lot of strife. Very menacing ants, aren't they, hey? Obviously uh, giving her a lot of trouble there. And what's different about an ant versus other things I've seen the red back kill? Well, the red back's got nothing to bite into. It makes a very hard critter to kill. And again, I'm seeing that uh, white throffing at the front of her in her fangy area. And there are really ants uh, starting to take control here. Yeah, oh, okay, this could be, uh, this could be it. This could be it. She was uh, free roaming before. And now look at these ants coming in. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, I can't see her moving anymore. It's just a matter of time. It's just uh, uh, the number of the ants are going to overwhelm her and she's going to be the next meal for them. It was uh, sort of done by numbers, wasn't it? I think just the number of bites accumulated. It weakened her and uh, I don't think she'll be getting back up again unless she's playing games here, which I don't think she is. I think the, the ants have got this one. Whoa, she just, um, unbelievably, she just bolted. So she was sort of playing dead. Wow, that was a very strange game from her. And yeah, well, she's up and mobile again. I really thought uh, the ants had her then. It's a second win for Mrs. Spider. Uh, the ants are going to come in uh, much better than that to take her out. And I'm sure the ants are not going to give up because uh, they can sense there's a meal in their nest ready to be taken. At the moment, Mrs. Redback is sort of perched on a bit of a twig there and there, and the ants are coming and going, and I don't see her doing much moving, mind you. She escaped before. Wow, she is a fighter. Mind you, I already knew these spiders uh, don't give up that easily. And the ants are not giving up as well. They've got the numbers here, I'm sure of it. It's funny, she sort of stumbles around from danger zone to danger zone. And no matter where you go here, there's more ants. And again, she's down uh, now, but it will it be for the one, two, three, and game over. She did this before, and she sprung up uh, with great speed. Who knows? Maybe she just does this so the ants sort of drift away. I think she's going to spring back to life. There are amazing spiders at playing dead. Well, lots of spiders are. One thing I haven't seen her do is use that sticky web that she's got and using her back legs because, well, the ants are presenting to her a very different sort of enemy. And in real time of this battle, it's around about the 40 minute mark and the red back is just stationary there. Not sure whether she's playing dead or whether she's uh, been finally taken out by the multiple ant bites. She's going into some strange spasm there. That's sort of like what you'd see when she's sprayed or something. And maybe the ants have, uh, yeah, look at that. She's pulling her legs in. That might be her in her death throes. And I'm sure the ants are going to now come in and... Uh, have a fantastic dinner tonight. I don't think she's coming back from that, seeing those shivers, those shivery legs uh, often mean the end. And if that is the end, yeah, it took about 40 minutes uh, for the ants to take out the redback spider. Mind you, the bulk of the damage was done in the last 10 minutes. I think that's really when the ants started to work out how to take the redback out. I think a video like this was one of the most asked for videos. It's uh, basically ants versus redback spider. Wow, I'm glad I did it. I saw some stuff I thought I'd never see. Uh, I think they're just common black ants. I'm not really into ants. I'm sure the audience can fill me into uh, what these ants are.
And what I'll try to do is set up a time lapse camera here so I can watch the way the ants pull the redback spider apart. I dare say they'll pull it down into their little ant home. What a lovely meal. It is quite amazing uh, the speed ants can get up. The video isn't sped up at all. That's just ants in crazy mode. Crazy happy they got a nice meal for tonight. Well hopefully the time lapse will work out. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's certainly something that many, many people ask for.